Melvin Fura Frazier Jr. and B.J. Johnson rounding out the starting five for Lakeland. It'll be Williams and Jefferson on the opening tip. It is one by Lakeland, and we are underway. Thanks for joining us. A good one here with a spot in the finals on the line. Lakeland is the best three-point shooting team in the G League as Emil Jefferson gets them on the board. As Theo Pinson around a screen, kicks out to Wimbush for a corner three, misses everything. Alan Williams, the offensive board to get Long Island on the board. Over Raptors 9.05, and he is headed to Australia at the completion of Long Island's playoff run to become the head coach of the Sydney Kings as Thomas Wimbush from downtown. To get a head coaching job in their professional league. Like you said, Kevin, he's headed to the Sydney Kings once this Long Island Nets season is over, whenever that might be. B.J. Johnson, Keith Lakeland's coach, told us before the game, Johnson got a flight late last night, didn't see him until about an hour before the game, but he is here and ready to play and knocking down his first two shots. Theo Pinson on the drive for Long Island, takes it to the rim and lays it in. Extra pass, Johnson for three, rattles out, and Long Island looking to push. John and Musa into the lane, falling away, and the Nets go back on top. Look at John and Musa in transition off the outlet pass from Williams. Tough finish there through some contact. And again, Long Island looking to push. This is something that they have made their identity trying to get out on the fast break as often as possible, and Wimbush converts again. Big long wingspan for a six foot nine player. And once he gets inside, he can use those long arms and get the basket to go. How Thomas about Wimbush does right there? Yeah, how about Thomas Wimbush here in the early go? Seven shot attempts already for Thomas Wimbush. He has been extremely aggressive as Gabe York to the rim with the left hand. Point game here, Long Island on top, 13 to 12. And back on Friday night in the win over Raptors 905, and that's only played eight players, meeting for minutes as Sean Lusa throws it down, but he's gonna get rung up with the technical foul. Melvin Frazier from downtown leaves it short, follows his shot, but can't jam it home. Oh, it popped out on Melvin Frazier. Musa ahead of the pack for Long Island. Musa up to six. Jefferson backing down Murphy. Emil Jefferson follows his own shot. Second try goes. Jefferson has spent a lot of time in recent weeks up at the NBA club in Orlando as Musa from downtown book it. John and Musa starting to heat up here. That's nine points. Six forward out of Houston. He'll hand off for York. Gabe York fires away from downtown and hits. Copain, just one point thus far for Lakeland. Now York goes behind his back. Step back, jumper smooth. And it looks like Gabe York is feeling it. And the offense going through him right now for Copain as well. Recognizing the hot hand is Gabe York here for Lakeland. We are tied at 20. McLaughlin a corner three. It's short. Ahead of the pack, Jefferson as McLaughlin gives a foul and count it. Jefferson working on McCall, goes to the hook shot, it rolls out. And look at the outlet from Pinson to Murphy. Theo Pinson can do it all, score, rebound. John and Musa down low looking for Williams, has it taken away by Davis. That, that's offense a little sloppy over those last couple possessions. Jeremiah Hill from downtown and Lakeland goes on top. Ellie with a steal and Jefferson ahead of the pack. Back to back turnovers for Long Island, leading to five in a row from Lake. Come to Nassau Coliseum. Long Island just three of ten from downtown. After that miss is Petroselli get up on the other end. And it was the pass from Jeremiah Hill. Attacking Hill, Theo Pinson knifes his way inside for two. Snapping an 11-0 run there for the Lakeland Magic. Need to keep up with the league, download for free from the App Store. As Petroselli is blocked by Pinson. Now Allen Williams gets loose down low, swatted away by Campbell. Becoming a block party here to start the second quarter. Laughlin bounces for Wimbush. Another corner three is good. Now two for six from long range for Thomas Wimbush. Eastern Conference Final. Wimbush not shy, now four of 11 from the field. Angola kicks out to Hill for a corner three. Laughlin, an open three. And the long ball is going to be what gets Long Island back in this game. Offense looking, at, looking sloppy at times for Long Island. Jordan McLaughlin right there, found himself with an open three and buried it. Emil Jefferson up to 13 for Lakeland. Way off the mark for three. 
Now Wimbush with a full head of steam to the rim. Thomas Wimbush, so athletic. Jajir McCall scoreless. He was Long Island's leading scorer in their playoff game against Raptors 9.05 with 22 points on Friday. Jefferson the handoff for Frazier for a deuce. Emil Jefferson, 13 points, four rebounds, three assists already for Lakeland as Murphy gets loose for two. Jefferson driving on Murphy, the turning hook shot won't go. Copain the offensive rebound and the putback. There's Copain on the board. I think Taj McCall gets a shot attempt on that. He does. He does. Now 0 for 6 is Gabe York, a mid-range jumper, and York, the second player for Lakenson. Now Tajir McCall, he'll drive it on Copain. Turning in the lane, McCall off glass, finally gets one to go. Frazier with the left hand. Now Davis on the offensive glass, finds a cutting B.J. Johnson. It's B.J. Johnson getting the pass. I'm going to throw down the thunderous dunk right there. Johnson known as an exceptional three-point shooter. Long Island can keep it under 15 turnovers. He thinks they'll have a good shot. Right now, as you mentioned, Matt, six. Late in the second quarter is York again with the floater. He's up to 13. Oh, the lead back up to nine. With only two minutes to go in the second. Allen Williams backs his way in. The floater goes. Nice touch there for Williams. And he also had a double-double in the game Friday against Raptors 905. 13 points, 11 rebounds. Gabe York takes it right at Williams and lays it in. A good first half for Gabe York. Around the screen from Johnson. Kick out Jefferson for an 18-footer. Yeah, left wide open. Bill Jefferson going to knock that J down anytime. Largest lead of the game for Lakeland at 11. Musa for three. Copain's floater off back iron no, the offensive rebound. Third try from Copain. Three tries there for Troy Copain. Initially when he got into the lane, it looked like he couldn't believe he was that wide open. Williams, the spin move and lays it in. Pinson pulls up for a long two, it's good. Coverage of game two and for more on these games please visit the G League app. Thomas Wimbush from downtown to get Long Island on the board here in the third. Or Lakeland here to start the third. Thomas Wimbush has made three three-pointers. He's up to a team high 15 points. Is Copain with the answer for Lakeland. He'll back down Jefferson. Allen Williams off glass no good. Wimbush the follow. But he's made seven so 50 percent from the field for Thomas Wimbush. Stepping up in place of Mitch Creek into the starting lineup. B.J. Johnson, the mid-range jumper. Bush right there again to track it down. He'll fire the corner three. Number four, fourth three-pointer of the game. Pinson finds an open Wimbush. He'll kick out for Murphy. Long Island, some good passing and Wimbush finishes. Pinson bouncing for Murphy. We're tied at 62. Great no look pass there from Theo Pinson. And Stan Heath wants a timeout to talk this one over. And a lot of it coming from Thomas Wimbush. Ten of those 12 points for Wimbush. Petroselli bowls over McCall. No whistle. Jefferson there on the offensive glass. He has been quiet as of late. Copain the other way from downtown. And Lakeland is attacking the offensive glass quite often here. B.J. Johnson, step back jumper is good. And it is a seven point magic lead. Bob inside for Jefferson, extra pass to Johnson for a corner three. A 10-0 Lakeland run. Magic doing what they do best as Long Island goes ice cold from long range. John and Musa down the right side, finally snaps it for Long Island. Jefferson will take another mid-range jumper. Petroselli taps it down to Copain. Oh, what a play. Copain going back to work. Backs down Newkirk. Up top for Johnson for three. Usa has been solid. He has 14, but Theo Pinson just three of 11 for six points. Allen Williams three of 12 for eight. Pinson. Kick out for McLaughlin. Now Murphy a corner three. Misses everything, but right into the arms of Williams. Contact and again, no whistle. Will Weaver going after the officials on the sideline, not getting the foul calls he wants. Is York for three. And Lakeland 
takes a 14-point lead. You see John and Musa back in the game for Long Island has the ability to kind of get things going in a hurry, but he's been quiet since the first quarter. McLaughlin on the drive, the reverse lay-in. McLaughlin, the crossover in the lane, dumps it off for Murphy. Jordan McLaughlin with a bucket, and now this time an assist. Vinson lost the handle, hustles back to it. Now McLaughlin, an open three. There's your answer, Kevin. Jordan McLaughlin, the spark here for Long Island. A bucket, an assist. Down to five. Pinson down the right side of the lane, bullies his way in for two. Tough finish from Theo Pinson. Angola drives it baseline. Kicks out for Frazier for a corner three. That's a big one to get the lead back up to nine for Lakeland. Two points and ten rebounds for Thomas Wimbush. The give and go between Williams and Wimbush, and he finishes. Thomas Wimbush has been out for probably the second half. Campbell inside for Angola. Tough finish. Great dish right there from Antonio Campbell. McLaughlin, who was the catalyst for that late third quarter run, off for Williams. The lefty floater goes. And no surprise, McLaughlin and Wimboy the retouch on that little jumper. 12 points and 17 rebounds for Allen Williams. McLaughlin a steal, has Musa with him, dumps it off. Musa can't finish, but McCall the follow. John and Musa, a deep three, got it. That's a big one, John and Musa, one of the guys we were circling earlier. Is Pinson, a pull-up three. And they're starting to fall for Long Island. Those are the shots they were taking points here in the second half. Now Wimbush driving on Copain, turning in the lane. Thomas Wimbush puts Long Island on top. Take all onto the G League Championship. Oh, Theo Pinson, get up! Theo Pinson making his case that the Nets should play in the championship round. A huge dunk. The guy on the sideline during Brooklyn Nets games who get things fired up, but this time it's his NBA teammates fired up for that jam right there. Theo Pinson, the emphatic dunk to put the Nets up by three. Pinson, a straightaway three is off the mark, but Murphy, the offensive board, kicks out to McLaughlin from downtown. Long Island on fire. Now McCall down to four to shoot. Tajir McCall off to Williams. Pretty passing and the finish. And the Nets making the extra pass. He'll take Petroselli one on one. Theo Pinson into the lane to the rim and he finishes. Theo Pinson turning it on when Long Island has needed him the most. Seven points here in the fourth quarter for Pinson. Gabe York for three, just what Lakeland needed. 3 14 here in the fourth. Musa, a step back three, is short, but Wimbush, the offensive rebound, he has a career high, 28. Under a minute to play. Johnson, step back, long two, is good. Pinson, driving on Copain. Double team comes, knocks it away, gets it back off glass, won't go, and out of bounds will be Lakeland basketball. Comes into Jefferson. Off to Copain. He'll try the three. Troy Copain buries it. We're tied at 102. Huge shot there from the guy they call Mr. Magic. And playoff games. And right here getting the pass. John and Musa right in his face. Copain pulling up, tying the game with 21 ticks on the clock. Musa into Williams. Turns, fires at the horn. It's short. And we head to overtime. Copain down low for Jefferson. A size advantage on Pinson and Lakeland on the board first here in OT. Round the screen from Jefferson. Back to Troy Copain. Step back. Jumper is good. He'll get another screen from Murphy. Theo Pinson on the drive. Blocked by Jefferson. And time off the clock. Troy Copain. Jumper over Murphy, off the heel, no good. McCall the strong rebound, and Long Island takes a timeout. Has 14 points and 20 rebounds in this game, the two-way player between Brooklyn and Long Island. And he misses the first. If Williams makes, you gotta go for a steal and then foul if you're Long Island. Makes the second. 
The shot clock's down to five. Long Island's going to play it out here. Copain down to one. He's got to throw one up at the horn. It is off the mark. Pints in the rebound and a timeout taken by Long Island. McLaughlin into Pinson for the three, and the win, it goes! Theo Pinson! They're gonna put four tenths of a second on the clock. So just enough time, Copain with the baseball pass up ahead, batted down by Long Island, and they're off to the G League Finals.